86-year-old Kiev native Galina Pashkevich thought she had seen it all. A World War II survivor, she witnessed Nazis commit many horrors and said she never thought she'd see war again. Then Russia invaded Ukraine in February, and like many others, Pashkevich fled. With the help from her family, she arrived in the United States. I left with a small backpack, five kilos if that. I took a vishivanka with me, a memory stick with all my research papers. I'm a botanist by training, graduated from the Kiev University. I have 250 scientific publications and articles. I authored 12 books. She was born in 1936. In the fall of 1941, the Nazis came into Kiev. But the bombing started before that. I remember the whining of flying bombs, the high-pitched sound of diving planes. It was very scary. The Nazis used to lead Jews along this street to Babi Yar. My sister and I heard the noise and ran to stand on the corner. We saw Germans with lowered guns walk on the sidewalk and on the road, a stream of people with carts carrying children. We just stood there and watched. But now it is Russians bombing Ukraine. Pashkevich says she cannot stop crying when she thinks of Ukrainian children who should be playing outside instead of hiding in basements. She recalls risking it all to escape. We hear explosions, sirens are wailing, we have to hide. But instead we're hurrying to get to the garage. It took us three days to get to the border. We didn't eat, didn't leave the car. As we were driving, we found out there were long lines at the Polish border. My grandson told us to head to the Slovakian border instead. Pashkevich's grandson met her in Slovakia. She still can't believe that this time Russia is Ukraine's foe. I used to constantly go to Moscow and St. Petersburg. My Russian colleagues would come to Kiev. Trying to imagine these are our enemies, I can't fathom it. But when you see what they do, what they have done to our citizen villages, Irpen, Bucha. Pashkevich says she believes that Ukrainians have united against a common enemy, a unity she thought was hard to achieve during peaceful times. We all believe in victory. We believe this horror will end through hardships and losses, through suffering, but it will end. Ukraine has to remain free. And free to tell stories and bear witness to the horrors of two wars nearly 80 years apart. Frangelina Bagdasaran in Los Angeles, California, NRI's VOA News.